Lange's first minute, Peter, was realized in 2013 as one of the three acoustical time indications of the grand complication. But today, I would like to talk about the new sidewalk minute repeater, which is quite different. It's the modern interpretation of the minute repeater. Slightly different than the first minute repeater realized in a grand complication. Why? It's a decimal minute repeater. A decimal minute repeater, ah, in combination with a numeral time indication from the sidewalk, which is quite logic. You hear what you read on the display. It's a decimal minute repeater. But what does it mean? Let me try to explain you. A decimal minute repeater is a low pitch tone for the hours. And now comes the difference. Not the quarters are striking, but the tenth minutes by a double tone. And the high pitch tone is for the minutes. Sounds very, very theoretic. So maybe I just give you an example with a live watch. Maybe it's a good point to set a nice time, for example, let's take 12.44 and I activate it by a pusher, but I come back to it later. Isn't that great? You heard 12 low pitched tones, four times the double strike, and four high pitched tones. So let me just explain what I did with the pusher, because you probably recognize this is a bit different than a classical minute repeater. You don't have a conventional slide in which you put in the, the, the energy by yourself. Activating the minute repeater by a push button means that the energy for the striking mechanism is taken from the barrel of the movement, which is of course an influence on the power reserve of the movement. To avoid that after chiming several times your movement is running out of power, we have made an indication, a little red dot, on the power reserve. So after a certain amount of striking, the hand will reach that little dot. As soon as the hand has reached that dot, you can push. But the minute repeater is no more activated. That's the security. Of course, a couple times winding and she will go again. No problem. I would like to come back on the statement which I made earlier. And that is that uh, you hear what you read. And we took that very seriously. Because since you know that the Zeitwerk, when the second hand reaches 60, the numerals will jump instantaneously. But what happens if I activate the minute repeater, for example, at 50 or 55 seconds? Let me show what happens. This is quite interesting. So now I activate the minute repeater. Nothing happens. The numerals stay. But be aware, right after the last strike is done, C jumps. Quite fascinating. Actually, these two features we have patented. Beautiful movement which is powering this minute repeater, has in total six patents. 